If you plan on using Zoom for your online synchronous sessions this fall, you're going to want to make sure you are using your ISU Zoom Pro account and that you are using Zoom through ReggieNet. That's going to be the recommended method for posting your Zoom links for your students as well as your cloud recordings. So the first step, if you do not have the Zoom app or desktop client downloaded to your computer or you have not signed in yet, you will go to illinoisstate.zoom.us and click sign in. It's going to take you to central login. If it doesn't take you automatically, if, because it's the first time you're doing this, you will click SSO for single sign on and sign in using your ULID and password. This will take you right into your Zoom account. And also on here, you can, um, you can download any apps that you need. So if actually, if I go back, you'll see if I scroll down, download client, that will let you have Zoom right on your laptop. The next thing you need to do is in ReggieNet, you need to make sure you have the Zoom Pro tool active. Now, I think some of my courses already have this active. If you do not see Zoom Pro, the way you get this is to scroll to where it says Site Info. And, oh, I'm in Student View. In Site Info, go to Manage Tools and scroll all the way down to the bottom where you see external tools, click the drop down menu and check the box next to Zoom Pro. After you push continue and then finish, you will have the Zoom Pro tool in your sidebar. This is where you are going to set up all of your meetings. Rather than doing it from the desktop client, the recommended method is to do it right from within ReggieNet. It will keep everything here nicely for your students and then Zoom and ReggieNet will recognize which Zoom sessions are for which class. So really, if I have meetings scheduled with the regular desktop client, when I'm the instructor and I click the Zoom Pro account, I will see all of my meetings show up here, not just my class, unless I check this box that says show my course meetings only. The students though, as long as I schedule them from within this app, then they are going to show up here for the students in the student view, only the ones for this class. Last semester, I was a little confused. I had two sections of the math class and I kept seeing all both sections on this list, but my students only saw just their class. So to schedule your meeting, you will click the blue box in the upper right hand corner and all the settings should look very similar as it does in the desktop client. Some recommended settings, uh, I would include that your host and your participant have their video turned on to begin. I don't usually use the waiting room unless I'm doing office hours. I like to put the waiting room on for office hours so that a student does not interrupt another student's private conversation. Um, the other two things that you should check if they are not defaults already is only authenticated users can join. And we want this to say ISU login. This will give you the most secure connection because only students who have signed in with their ISU email will be able to access your class and that's what we want. The other option for this authenticated users is sign into Zoom. This means anyone who made a Zoom account can join your session versus someone without a Zoom account. But we wanna keep that as ISU login. And the last thing I recommend, if this is a synchronous class and you want it to be accessible to a student who may need to miss your synchronous class, you can check the box that says record the meeting automatically. The students have all been told, uh, they've had notifications that says we are going to be recording these class sessions. That is okay and you do not need additional video permissions to do so. When you check this box, make sure the button that says in the cloud is what's on because then when I go back to the main page, let me scroll up. When I go back to the main page of all my meetings, the fourth tab over says cloud recordings. After I've had class, they will just show up here for the students. Only this, again, if you schedule it from within ReggieNet, just their class recordings will be here for them. That protects everyone's privacy and follows all the protocols we need. If you have any questions about this, please feel free to reach out. This is the method you should be using to schedule Zoom as opposed to doing it directly from the Zoom app.